Hi, I'm starting this film uh, outside Dartmoor. It's just outside Exeter. This is the Holden uh, Forest Park where I went to do the, the two short red and uh, blue rides. So this is the fat fabulous viewpoint on both rides. And uh, where that bike is going, that's the start of the red ride and that's the, uh, a ridge ride along the, the ridge of the hill. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a thrilling roller coaster ride. So well worth doing. A more technical ride than the blue ride. But most of the film I've done here is of the blue ride. I put a few selfies from the phone on here because as I had such a good day I just wanted to keep a record of it. But most of the shots I took at Holden were of the Blue Route so you can get some idea that it's a fairly easy ride but it's very pretty and, um, and I, I was mostly alone there was hardly anybody riding it. So I, through the magic of cinema I've, I've put myself in the film and cut out my um, rubbish bits. Uh, Horton's a good place to ride. It's a little short. Both rides I did under an hour, so um, not too difficult. But it's you know it's a morning's ride riding there, so it's, it's it was good fun and a good good um, warm up. This is at the end of the um, red ride. This is quite an interesting section where they've gone through the gully here. So I've taken quite a bit of footage of it because I was quite interested to, to do it. And uh, you've got to be a bit careful you don't fall off here actually. But you see how well designed it is. It's just like all the, you know the ones in Scotland and South Wales. Uh, if you see my other films, it's just as good. So I was finished by about 12 o'clock and then I was going to head on to Postbridge in the middle of Dartmoor. So that means driving there and this is Postbridge. And I had um, a map which said you could do a, a, a difficult ride into the heart of the western part of the forest. So I was very keen to go to the western part. So you can see here it's quite reasonable on this bridleway. This is the, the, the route on the map. And as soon as you get out of onto the moors, things changed and it was just it was virtually unrideable it was very rocky and I was having to carry the bike so I've just got a selfie here at the bridge at Post Bridge and I decided to carry on uh, further north so this is Bellstone this is just outside Oakhampton on the northern edge of the moor so I had to drive around here and uh, here there are some bridleways uh, to get you onto the moor but it's not kind of like highlighted there's, there's a car parking at Bell, Bellstone but there's no signs or anything you really have to find your own way and, uh, but once you're onto the moor, you get these fabulous views looking north, and you can see Exmoor in the distance there. They're absolutely breathtaking. So, although I've, I've ridden the um, Dartmoor before, but on a road bike on the eastern side on the road, so I was really keen to get into the heart of it, because even though the drive across the moor is fabulous, you, you feel like you're, you're still in civilization. But once you're getting out here, this is really getting onto the moors, and there's a, this is kind of like about 4:30 in the afternoon, and so it's kind of like the end of the day. So I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to have enough time to do the ride. But there were still a few walkers out, but most were coming back. But these ones were going up to this tour up here, that's the tour end. So I wasn't completely alone, but there was no other bikers out. So I had a specialist uh, bike map, which wasn't ordnance survey, but it was it was really accurate, and I, I didn't get lost at all. So it was pretty easy to follow. And uh, the tra the trail the trails is uh, it's kind of like a mix, it's pretty rocky, and it's sometimes it's grassy, but I never got lost, so it was easy to follow. You can see it's grassy there, yeah. And then you're looking back all the time, and you can see the civilization getting further and further away. So it's really cool. So I wasn't quite sure about the distances because it's, it's really deceptive, and you're kind of like looking ahead at the whole time, and it's just. There was a farm to, on the side, you, sometimes you see it, and that's the only bit of civilization you see. And then you're going further and further into the moors. So I'm going to go down across, the path goes to the end there, and it goes down to the right across this gully here. So, um, and then the farm's just here where those trees are. So you get to this point here where you're entering the firing ranges. This is the Oakhampton range, and uh, if there's flags up, it means it's too dangerous to go in. So you cut down through the gully and had to cross this, this uh, I thought it was a ford, but it's, it's, not, it's not, it's like a small pond. So I, I looked at this very carefully and I decided not to ride through it because it, it was too deep. And uh, so I, I had to carry to the, to the left there the bike across. I still got wet a bit and, and went straight across, but it was really good fun. And hidden in the gully immediately behind the ford there was these uh, uh, Dartmoor ponies. So these are the, there was quite a lot of livestock, but these were the only ponies I saw. So they, they picked a cool place to, to hang out. 
So as I swing around, this I was at the, this key junction where you can see the road going right into distance. That's the way I was going to head. It's uh, right into the into the, the into the hills there. It's going to be a big climb eventually. And I'll show you that in a bit. And there's another selfie coming up here. You can see I was just in a t-shirt, and uh, this is late. This is late August. This is the Friday before the bank holiday, and uh, this was another Ford. This one I, I went across. This is good fun. So this must be for the army because there's no cars coming across yet, and you can see here like the road will suddenly change from tarmac to gravel. But once I got to this section, it was mostly um, tarmac, so it was, it was easier to ride. But it's going up, and the, the film doesn't really do justice to how steep this next section is. So I was climbing up here and I was taking shots back. So you can just about see the edge of the moor in the in the distance there, looking back. And that's where I came from the tours. And you can see the farm there. So you can see it gives you some idea of the distances involved. And it was a bit deceptive because uh, I thought I got to the top and I was only about halfway up. And it's, this goes up and up and up. And eventually you get as far as you can go there's a there's a signs for some of the pathways so you can't cycle and they're kind of like tied in with the map so uh, you can only go about four four and a half miles in to the moor on a bike so uh, and then you have to turn around and I came back a different way this is the furthest south I got so you're looking south into the into the into the deepest part of the moor so it's about probably another eight nine miles back to post bridge across the moor so it's really atmospheric it's really cool it's about six o'clock in the evening now, and uh, so I'm at the furthest point south. But it was quite windy. It was very windy, and it was getting chilly. So I had to put my wind sheeter on, and uh, to keep me warm for the return leg. And I was going to go down the other side, which it, which turned out to be a lot easier than coming up, because it was it was either flat or it was a steady downhill. So it was a perfect ride. You can see here I'm almost in tears because it was I'm a bit kind of like tired. Cause it's been a long day, and uh, I still got to get back. So I made it back pretty easy. It was a steady downhill, so I just I didn't have to just just a basic pedaling, and it wasn't too hard. So and it started to warm up by the time I got back to here, which is the car park, which when I looked on the map is uh, it's not very clear. There's people parked here. You can drive up here, but uh, you'd have to know your way because it's not it, was, it wasn't highlighted on my road map at all. So from here, I, I, there's the farm. So you're looking south. So I've come back round. I headed back across the valley to the side I came on and returned the way I came, which was along here. So it was a brilliant day. I really recommend it. It's a really good ride and uh, you really get a feel for uh, Dartmoor. I wish I could go all the way across, but uh, you can't. But this is second best. So I'll finish off with this uh, terrific view on the way back. It was really good.